Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you two ways to make B-roll media galleries to share with your students. Doing this is a great way to make sure that your students are using media in their multimedia projects that is cleared for reuse. Let's go ahead and take a look at how we can do this using Google Drive. So what I'm going to do here in Google Drive is create a new folder and let's call this one media for classroom projects. And let's just create that folder. So now I have this folder here, media for classroom projects. And as we can see, it's empty right now. So I'm going to get some media that I want to use in this folder and I want my students to be able to use from this folder. So I'm going to go to pixabay.com first and I want to get, let's say, some pictures of dogs playing. You know, that sounds like a great topic. Dogs playing and we've got a bunch of dog pictures here and, you know, maybe I'll grab this one here. And here in Pixabay, signed into my account, I'm just going to hit that download button, pick the size that I need or would like to use. And then I'm going to just drag it right into that folder. Now, the other thing about Pixabay that's great is that we can find video clips. So let's do that dogs playing again. And instead of images, let's find video. And there's a nice video of a dog. Let's download that in a small size for the sake of this demo. And again, we can just drag that in to the folder and it's uploading right now. Now you'll notice there, there were also some options to find music. And we don't have any dogs playing music. Maybe there's dogs. All right, rainbows and puppy dogs. And we can download that. And we can put that into the folder as well. And let's do one more. Let's say we want sound effects. And we want dog barking. And there's groups of dogs barking. And let's go ahead and grab that download and put that in the folder as well. So now I have a picture of, of dogs, a video of dogs, and sounds of dogs. And I want to share this folder with my students so that they have access to it. So just click on the title there and let's share it. And there's a few ways that we could share it. We can share it individually. We could share it by changing this link here and saying that everyone who has this link can edit, which means that they can then download those files as well. Or I might share these files in Google Classroom. Now, for those of you who are not Google Workspace users, let's take a look at how we might do this with OneDrive. So here's my OneDrive account and let's create a new folder. Let's just call this one again, media to share with students. Or maybe call it media for classroom projects. And let's create that. And in this case here, I'm going to use a different source for some images. I'm going to use photos for class and we'll find some dog pictures here. And what's great about photos for class is that when I go to download this file, it will include image attribution information across the bottom of the picture. So I'm going to upload that to my folder here, Media for Classroom Projects. Let's go ahead and upload that file. And there it is. And my other files that I previously downloaded, 
Let's upload those as well and add those into the folder. And you can see one of those has already been uploaded. And now let's go ahead and share that folder. And one of the things I've always appreciated about OneDrive is that when I share it, I can share it here to a group. I can share it and allow editing, but I can also share it with an expiration date and a password so that I can say, okay, students, you have until Friday to download the files that you need. Or I can say there's a password on this folder that you need in order to access the files within. So those are two ways that you can create B-roll media galleries for your students to use in their multimedia projects. As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.